My controller is currently plugged into the back of my PC using a longer cable, and look! I'm having no trouble. Of course, I'm still getting the odd disconnect because cables don't quite go fully into the controller, and um, I don't have uh, any Bluetooth app to, to connect the controller to the PC because it's connected to my PlayStation or whatever. But yeah, like, um, controller. The controller is, you know, fine, I guess. And um, my microphone is also. Right, so, anyway, back to this glitch. Um, I've been practicing with it, kind of, um, off-stream. What on earth? Oh, I see, you've got the spinning platform, that's funny. Um, and I realised that this is a lot harder than I thought it would be, because, um, obviously you have to keep jumping to the left of the pipe, and um, when you got the item you want, say I got the uh, crystal right now, it would be a crystal from the dry um, from the town section. And if I were to go back into the level, I wouldn't necessarily be carrying what I was just holding. As you can see, I'm no longer holding that amp or whatever they're called. Yeah. So sorry if um, my voice sounds a bit funny. My nose is kind of clicking as I'm talking. So getting the the crystal is basically luck based upon Mario re-entering you know the level by teleportation. So that's kind of a pain in the butt. Luckily I have save states. But technically this could be done on the console, you just go back, you grab another Chuckya and you do it all over again. Um but yeah, I will show you guys, um, like, well, I'll give it a few attempts. If not, I've got a save state, a second save state that I made where I've already got the crystal. But it is just such a pain in the butt. But it can be done in real time without, you know, without tool, without the use of tool assisted, um, help kind of a weird sentence to say, but, you know. It's just a more pain in the butt. Okay, I didn't mean to do that, and yep. Because uh, you think, okay, well, I've got a blank object right now. Usually when Mario runs around with a blank object, it changes into coins and stuff anyway. Can't I just, you know, go outside of the loading, or go outside of the radius of one of these crystals? And the thing is, these crystals don't seem to have a set draw distance. They're always loaded while the um, while this part of the level is active. And when you go into the town, it unloads this entire area. Which means that, because I can't get the crystals to despawn, they never get put into a different slot. And because they never get put into a different slot, Mario can't hold them by swimming around the level. Which means you have to do this inside the dry pipe. Oh, that's the wrong save file. <laughs> so yeah, it's just um, basically luck. And once you're outside the dry pipe, that's it. You have to clone another Chuckya. Or, I suppose, if you wanted to, you could just uh, take the current item you've got. And, um... And uh, do the slippy slidey thing back into the pipe. It shouldn't be too hard, technically. Uh, oh wait, I forgot to get rid of the uh, text. Okay. There we go. So, yeah, um, I'm holding one of these guys right now. Isn't that funny? Um, you can actually take these with you to, uh, the town. See, I just went through loading zone, but I'm still holding it, but if I had to go back into the level... I won't be holding her anymore, because it only seems to work one way or whatever, I guess. See, so yeah, I'm gonna try attempting... Uh, going back into the pipe. Luckily, like, Mario is right here, so that's kind of, you know, handy. Whoops. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> 
I'll give it one more go, I suppose. I'd like to show this on stream because, like I said, it's literally you just swim, like swim in a straight line, you fall out, you jump up against the ramp, Mao ends up in the water, you swim forwards a bit, swim to the middle, try not to like jump on any ramps or anything and Mao will drop what he's holding. You can do this sort of thing where you do this. Oh, I've got... Oh no, I had it! Well, even still, I couldn't swim out of the um, pipe and still keep it. Still keep the crystal. Because you have to like teleport back in to the level like that and then just by luck, have the uh, crystal on you. So I'm going to try sliding into there again. And this isn't even the hardest part of the glitch. Well, I, I mean, all of it is hard, really, but it's not even the worst part. Okay, just going to get back to the pod. Oh. I'm using the wrong camera angle, I see why I'm having trouble now. The worst part is, once you have the crystal, you have to know exactly what crystal you're holding. Which is incredibly unfair, because there are like five or something in the level. Okay, I'm not holding what I... I'm not holding it, okay. So yeah, you could be holding this crystal right here, that I'm just above. You could be holding uh, this one, you could be holding that one. And if you activate the wrong one, and then you throw the crystal, the water level will continue to drain, ignoring you. But if you have the right crystal, then the, um, the water will stop immediately once Mario throws it. I'm just adjusting the camera because I feel like Mario's probably going to fall. Oh, this is just so annoying because it's luck based. <laughs> when I say it's luck based, I mean technically you count the amount of bubbles Mario's breathing and stuff. Oh, that would have been perfect. Uh, not quite what I'm looking for. God, that looks so funny. Oh yeah, also, um, now that my microphone's not buzzing, whatever that interference was, like, I think that was interfering in my brain, as weird as that sounds, but there was clearly elect an electrical disturbance. Like, I I feel fine at the moment. I'm a bit... T oh, my God. I'm a bit tired, yeah, but I'm fine. Yep, I'm not holding the crystal. My brain's working a bit better. I'd say I'm probably at like 70% of my capacity right now. Oh, I'm holding a blue coin. Are there even any blue coins? Oh yeah, there are. Okay, let's keep going. Can you imagine if I chose to do this on my Wii U? Oh my god, that would have been horrible. Okay, time to jump out again. Not what I'm looking for, okay. I know, like, anyone watching this back is like, Oh my god, but you have the crystal, why are you teasing us? Uh, I didn't mean to do that, but you know, you know, screw it. So, this crystal, like, from trial and error, I found you know, by resetting the safe state, is actually this crystal over here, which is just fantastic, because it means I can actually see the water level where I need it to be. So I need it to be up here, right against that ledge. 
That might be too low. But once you've got that down... Oh boy, it's still hard because you need... Yeah, this might be too low. Okay, well let me just lure him over, see if he can... Actually, it might be fine. If he can get me while I'm in the water without actually swimming, then that means he is actually, uh... Yeah. The water level was high enough. So, you can't actually grab him from the front, because he'll just chuck you. That's kind of in his name. You can only grab him from behind. And, um... You have to time it so that he comes towards you, and then he turns around... Right... Wait, what happened there? Ah, oh, the water level was just too low. That was perfect, because he was facing the other way, and his little butt was over the edge. Like, his, like the shadow of him was partially into the water. When you do that, you want to wait for the water to be at its highest. Well, in my case. And then you grab, and then you'll be able to grab him. I've never seen that amp glitch before. What? So yeah, you just gotta time it. It's really annoying. And if I swim right here, I'm outside of his um, aggro range. See, his shadow's on the land, so he's too far away. God damn, I was trying to jump into the water. <laughs> He's about to run out of steam. Oh, no, Mario, turn around, please. Uh. No, I can't grab him from this angle. He has to be, like, hovering over the water. And the only way to do that is to get him to literally turn around, because... Centri his center axes must be, like, off or something. What? I wasn't that close to the surface. Also, when he does that, it messes up the camera. It's kind of annoying. I've noticed he's active for about 10 seconds before he, like, deactivates. I mean, I say about 10 seconds. Oh, for God's sake. There we go! Oh my God! There's not really a lot you can do with him, because this... Well, like I said, this is a stable version, so I can, like, break boxes and stuff, and it won't, like, despawn him. But, um, the second I let go, he will just appear above his home. So, I can't put him down anywhere. But I can still feel effects of him. Just like that. So he's back over here, and if you throw him, he'll just literally appear right up in the air here, and he'll just fall back down. Well, I guess it depends where you throw him from. Like, giving him the amount of height he has, but yeah. This glitch is incredibly unfair. Well, it's not even a glitch, trick, whatever. But then again, it, like I said, it was never intended by Nintendo. But that's it! That's the setup. That's the long-winded, real-time, non-tool-assisted setup that I demonstrated tool-assisted. And if I were to do an actual stream of me trying to achieve this... Oh no! Ugh. It would probably take like three hours. And that's with the current skill level I'm currently at. I mean, my previous stream was two hours, but that was with a bunch of Murphy's Law. That was a bunch of just learning mistakes. Okay, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Damn it. See, you're so close. Four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. It doesn't look like you can grab him, but like I said, if his shadow is over the water like that, you can. So, yeah, there's not really a lot you can do. Also, uh, once you throw the crystal, none of the other crystals work anymore. At least that's what I observed the first time. Is that still true? Okay, so that's not working. So you're kind of stuck at this water level until you leave the area. So if I try this one, nothing. If I go back to the one I cloned, which is now up there instead of down here. But yeah, like I said, like you have to know what crystal you've got. And it might not even be a favorable crystal. That's the pain in the butt thing. So yeah, a really long-winded glitch. This is more like a challenge. So, I take by what I said. Simple flips might, like, pull his hair out with this. This might be an entire stream for him. Just like, Where's Waldo slash Where's Wally was an entire stream for for Joel, Vark's gonna for. You know, but for uh, like a rivalry or whatever. So if I, you know, if I take Evo and throw it here, it just appears there. And if I was higher up, then it would fall down. So yeah, this has been, I don't even know what this is called, unusual glitches that are, or unusual tricks that were oversights by Nintendo or something. Thanks for watching.